Hello people of the internet, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Ladies, gentlemen, anyone in between, today is a historic day in the world of K-pop because we get to see the return of Kara, second gen legends Kara. Now, we get to see five out of the how original five members however you want to count it because they've had member changes in the past but we get to see yes i do have k profiles open on the side so i'm cheating allow me we get to see giri we get to see sungyo my girl sungyo to see nicole back we get to see jiyoung back we get to see youngji back on stage together kara disbanded six years ago their last song was over seven years ago. And now, in the year of 2022, join in the likes of SNSD and EXID who decided to have anniversary comebacks. Kara are back. And let me tell you, second gen girl groups, when it came to like the big ones, Kara was punching up there. Mr. Step, Lupin, those, I mean, those are my top three at least. They were the first Korean, like, K-pop group to sell out to Tokyo Dome. They were bigger than SNSD in Japan back in the day. Of course, growing up in Japan, that's how I kind of know about them. They were huge. But now I feel like most people that are like recently joined the fan the, like the k-pop fandom especially if it, they joined recently in fortune the only way they know about kara is through like random play dances and things like that they never got to experience what it was like to listen to Kara when they released music which makes me sad because their last song was cupid that was seven years ago and seven years ago there, there's only a handful of groups that were around seven years ago that are still around today. Think about that for a little bit. Anyways. Switch on over to the big screen. And even I have a little soft spot for Kara, because Kara's Step was one of the first K-pop songs that I ever listened to and got me hooked onto the genre. Like, that and Infinite's BTD were, like, the two songs that I really fell in love with. And we get to see five of the... I almost I keep wanting to say five of the six, but there were there were seven members in total throughout their careers. And of course, we don't unfortunately we don't get the chance to see Guhara perform with them again. She passed away unfortunately three years ago. Man. Anyways, Kara's when I move. Here we go. Holy hell, they look fine as... Also, also at me trying not to get in my feels about the fact that there's six plates on the table. <laughs> there we go, volume is maxed out. Sunya, my girl! Cutie of the contacts and the Hime cut? Oh lord. I might be bias hopping today, ladies and gentlemen. It's slower and it's more mature. But we definitely have a clip banger again. This is definitely a sound you don't get these days in fourth gen world. Holy beauty, leave me alone, please. Also, the amount of eye contact in this video is like kind of overwhelming, just a little bit. Oh, 
Oh, the bass is like super atmospheric now. The sound stage is so wide open. Final chorus. Someone's flying up there. We gotta no not the same like about <laughs> I got spoiled about this on Reddit this morning when I was reading the comments on it. And I saw that oh no, they really left six microphones. <laughs> I'm sad now. <laughs> okay. I think that's the end of the song anyways. Wait, what? Oh, that's right. RWB is responsible for this? Or RBW? What? That explains why we don't have captions, RBW. <laughs> but when did R did RB So I guess they were part of the DSP acquisition then? Anyways. Whoa. The song itself. The song itself is it's almost like what I would imagine Kara would sound 10 years down the line if I was listening to them in like 2012. The sound, there's definitely a more matureness to it compared to songs like Lupin and Step that's more like, you know, the synth pop genre. There's definitely a hint of matureness to it. It's the pace is a little bit slower, it's definitely showing off, it's not like the high energy synth pop that we got 10 years ago, but it's still very much classic Kara synth pop, and I love it. The song's actually fairly simplistic, all things considered, and I think that's also part in part to playing into like the 2020s era type of music. Like, this type of music you will not get from a lot of people. In fact, not many people could even pull this off. I think if I had to think of any off the top of my head right now in terms of like recent examples of stuff like this would be Kwonumbi. She could pull off something like this. And I think she could be she could be one of the only groups that could pull off some or artists to pull off something like this. And she's a soloist. So she has, like, the creative freedom to do something like this. Not many groups will be able to do this. And also, I hate objectifying people based off of their looks. But you try and tell me that, uh, where, where's a good shot of Sungyeon and Gyuri? Where's, where's a good shot of Sungyeon and Gyuri? I don't know if there'll be a two shot of them together, but my god, they are 34 and they look ridiculously good. Like, oh, yes, I know their stage makeup and I don't know if there's been oh, modifications, whatever. I don't care. They look so good for 34. God, I aspire to look that good when I'm 34 and I'm 25. They look so good. Oh, man. It's so good to see them back. It's... Oh. Y'all have no idea how excited I was when I heard that Kara would be making an anniversary comeback. It's just... It's honestly something that self as like a casual fan of theirs, as well as just like a fan of the genre as a whole, 
I was fully expecting never to see Kara as a group ever again. And yet, I've been wrong yet again. SNSD came back this year. Uh, EXID came back this year as a group. Kara is now back as a group. All, all we're really missing is a Sistar like group come back this year, and that's like a good chunk of peak second gen have just decided to come back in 2022. And I'm hoping it probably won't happen, but I'm hoping it happens. Wow. I'm kind of shocked. I'm, I'm like speechlessly shocked by this. So I'm going to end the video before I drone on in silence for the next 20 minutes. But that's it for me today. Album listen coming up soon. I think it's a I don't know if it's a mini or if it's a single, but they have an album with this. So I'm going to listen to that. That'll come up after this. So look forward to that. There's other stuff I'm reacting to today. I think Punch's new song is going out today. And now that award season is here, um, Mama Stages, the Girl Group Collaboration Stages are coming out today as well. So look forward to that. And... That's it from me today. Uh, if you want to check out more from me, channel icon is up there. Uh, you can keep up to date with whenever I upload new music video reactions, album lists, and stuff like that. As well as find the <coughs> back catalog of stuff I've watched in the past. And if you want to watch another video of mine right away, YouTube recommends you watch that video down there. And until next time, bye-bye.